the devs behind DC Universe Online are working on the Marvel MMO. So yeah, I saw this a few days ago and I thought this was really interesting. The new MMO will probably come out sometime in, t in 2023. So we have two years before we see any kind of launch for this game. If you guys remember DC Universe Online, it was an MMO way back in what, 2006? I had it on a PS3, and you would you can play as like a as a hero going through like this like giant city. Details on it, it's a little foggy since I barely got to play it, but I do remember it being a lot of fun, especially in the beginning when you um go through Brainiac ship as you bust out as a, like a, a new like meta human, and then after you bust out, getting out of the uh, the ship and onto the city, you can actually like set up your character and everything. If it's the same guys did the uh, DC Universe Online, then I can see this being a lot of fun. During an investor, presenta investor presentation, Daybreak Games Austin-based Division Dimensional Inc. Game Studio is developing a new Marvel MMO. However, according to the same presentation, it will likely be a few years before we see a trailer or screenshot of the upcoming online hero game. So most likely, most likely they're just in the planning phase of it for the actual game. I doubt any, <laughs> I doubt any like actual like assets have been set up or created for this game. Most likely they're just doing the concept art and working on the story. And according to this, it's gonna take a few years before we see a trailer or a screenshot. So, so yeah, we're at the very, very early stages of this game. As spotted by Eurogamer and Twitch streamer Miller, uh, Daybreak's parent company in Ednet Global 7 released its Q3 2021 financial report. In a presentation which is revealed online, the company quietly announced that Daybreak and Dimensional Inc. were working on a new AAA MMO utilizing Marvel IP. According to another slide in the presentation, the unannounced Marvel MMO is led by Jack Ermert, currently in charge of DC Universe Online, but before that he helped design and run City of Heroes and co-founded the studio behind the MMO uh, Cryptic Studios. Hey, City of Heroes! Oh man. <laughs> oh, City of Heroes was a lot of fun. It was like one of the first like uh, superhero MMOs. They couldn't really like do like anything licensed because they didn't they didn't have the license for it so they just instead of like having it attached to like a specific brand you can like create your own character and they had their own like original story and characters and, see, and heroes unfortunately i never got into it because i was able to too, like at the time i didn't even have like pc or anything to like play it or a console as a second option but i know a lot of people had a lot of fun with that game kind of hopeful to, uh, really hopeful to see how this goes so we'll, we'll see I wouldn't expect to be playing this Marvel game anytime soon. The presentation is listed as a longer term project after 2022. So it's likely this game, if it's finished and released, won't see the light of day until 2023 or 2024. Whew. Like either two to three years from now. Two or three years. Hopefully by then we haven't like been like totally <laughs> like exhausted of anything Marvel or superhero related especially with games i know by then i'm pretty sure like with the movies we're just gonna be in tv shows we're just gonna be like exhausted from everything so yeah we'll see i'm hopeful I'm just hoping like the general public's interest in superheroes stays relevant by that time i'm pretty sure it will but, I mean, you never know what's entertainment. Interestingly, it was reported in 2019 that Daybreak was trying to develop a Marvel MMO around 2018, but the studio hit with layoffs. Oh, but the studio was hit with layoffs. It was shortly after that when Marvel game was supposed to... Ah, I can't read today. It was shortly after that when the Marvel game was supposedly shelved. However, it seems it has been revived. Makes sense, we're talking about comic book superheroes. Those guys and gals never stayed dead for long. Okay, I see what you did there. Uh, Daybreak and Dimensional Inc. have yet to officially confirm the news. Hopefully, this MMO is more successful than past attempts. There was an aforementioned Marvel MMO that was reportedly canned by Daybreak in 2018. Uh, but before that, in 2013, released of a failed superheroes, Marvel, oh, the Marvel Heroes, which shut down, following a few name changes in 2017. 
before all of that, uh, Critic 2 was working on a Marvel MMO with Microsoft, but that game was cancelled in 2018, not 2008, and we were born as Champions Online, which is still run in 2021, and who knows how many other unannounced Marvel MMOs have been planned, ditched, cancelled, or over the last decade. I didn't know about that. See, I didn't know about the uh, previous attempt at a Marvel MMO. So, what's that? One, two. Three failed attempts at our Marvel MMO. I don't see that happening now with how lucrative anything with the Marvel brand has, like how much money it, it, it's set to generate, especially with the popularity that it has now. So, I'm pretty sure at this point, like back, back in 2008, yeah, I can see studios or like investors not really putting down the money for it because I mean it's not at the time Marvel wasn't really like a name brand for like TV or games or movies but now the as popular as it is and as lucrative as a brand is like I can see it getting any needed financial support as well as being <laughs> being fully completed this time. However, the recent influx of Marvel games seems to have convinced someone with money that the <laughs> what did I just say that the world is ready for Marvel MMO. Future revolution on phones and tablets is already out and pretty damn good actually. Okay, so yeah, that is the news on the possible creation of a Marvel MMO. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think a Marvel MMO will work? And are you guys excited? For for MMO with Marvel characters. Let me know down below and we will see we will keep up with the uh with any news in regards to to this.